probably the turning points in my life where I looked around and I saw that there were other companies doing things similar to what Hedge Legal does now. And I thought that we could do the same thing and we could maybe do it better. As soon as I got that, that bug, the entrepreneur's bug, and I started thinking about it, my mind started racing at 100 miles a minute and I kept on thinking about different ideas, how we could do things, what we could call the company, what the company would do, how we would pitch our clients, how would we provide the service, how would we charge for the service, all of these things started racing in my head. And the more I started thinking about it and studying competition, it started to become clear to me how it could be possible. So I made the leap. Our practice centers around the negotiation of contracts, a certain suite of contracts that are used by hedge funds and banks. Very simple example, if you wanted to buy stocks, you could go to a bank and open up a brokerage account. As an individual, you don't have any ability to negotiate that arrangement with your bank. And under that contract, there's gonna be a number of terms in there. And if you're just an individual, you can't negotiate these terms and the banks will essentially give themselves a lot of discretion as to how to treat your account. What do you do with the contract after it's signed? Where is it stored? How do we know what's in the contract? contract contract management, contract storage platforms existed for a long time. What we did and what I think is different about our platform is that it's it's uniquely tailored towards our clients' needs. It's tailored towards the terms and the types of agreements that they have. What are the important data points that you need to draw out of the contract? That's the toughest part, really. How do you build the right data model to know what's important? And more so, once we've identified what's important, how do we feed that into a machine so that it's usable and, and it can be compared and scaled across many different agreements. But also now with the tech, we can give them new tools that didn't exist before, new insights, new information, data that they can use in different ways that allows them to make better decisions, more informed decisions. There's many ways that they can reach the solution, but can we get them there faster in a more cost-effective way? So if we can do that, we're providing value. Especially if you're targeting a higher end niche of clientele, the clients typically have enough money. They have money to, to pay you for your services, but what they need you to do is save them time because time is the most precious commodity that anybody has. So if we can get them to the right place quicker and with a less cost of what it would cost them to do it otherwise, then they will always be loyal to you. They will always come back to you. And it's not really a linear progression. It's been like nothing changes for a while and then something really big happens.